Yeah, when you're ready. Mm -hmm. At Etipano today I'll be discussing the purpose of my presentation between a Maori prophet and a fictional hero. Um, and identifying the similarities and differences between both heroes. According to the dictionary, a prophet is someone who protects the future. Also, as reported by this link shown in my slide, a prophet is someone who speaks by divine inspiration or is an interpreter through whom the will of a god is expressed. Um, I have selected to talk about our Rana Rangatira, Kini Tapio. I've also chosen a courageous young lady who's known as the Girl on Fire. Candice was a hero for circumstance who falling into her own position, but was a hero nonetheless. Comparing these heroes, there are many similarities and differences between them. Here are my own thoughts about both heroes. I have selected to talk about Kimi Tapio because I, have, I am aware of the things he's done throughout the past, back in the year 1863, when he was a rangatira himself and guided the Māoris when the British came to Aotearoa to confiscate our lands. His name is Tukaroto. He was the leader of the Waikato tribes, the second Māori king and a religious visionary. Um, he was also a member of Ngāti Mahuta. It is said that he was named to Karoto to commemorate Pōtato's stand at a siege at Matariki Park in May 1822. Kingi Tapio was born in 1825 in Oromo Kaikaya. On the year 1894, August the 26th, he passed away. He was buried in Taipiri after a tangihanga in September for Chos attended by thousands. He was raised by his maternal grandparents. During his adolescent years, his father encouraged him to become a man of peace. In later years, Tapio's sayings were repeated as prophecies for the future. He was considered as a prophet because, according to many people, he was matakite, he helped in wars, he was religious. Tapio was regarded as a great visionary and had many followers. His sayings have been variously described as porupititanga, Tongi and Whakakitinga. All these terms imply prophetic, visionary and efficient states of being. Tapio is famous for his many Tongis. For example, with the issue of Waikato's confiscated lands and was based with poverty. Tapio spoke of rebuilding using the less well-known and more humble trees. A definition of a hero is that anybody or anything that can sacrifice something valuable to the, for the good of the universe. They could also show some Great act of bravery or a novelty. <coughs> a hero doesn't have to be some amazing person. A hero can be anyone. For example, a hero is selfless, dependable, and acts without 
Eva. She was a hero not only as a girl on fire or the working day of the revolution, but to her family. When her father died, she was a rock of the family, hunting, protecting, and providing food for both her mother and sister, as well as the people in her town. She is also known as the girl of fire and the walking jay. Katniss's occupation was at the 74th Hunger Games. Um, 75th Hunger Games and she was the leader of the rebellion. Tapio was persevering. He was the Rangatira in the year 1863 when the British came. He didn't give up even though 1,500 British fought against 500 Maldives. Tapio was religious. He was a religious visionary. He was a Christian and a student of the Bible as well as being well-versed in the ancient rites of the Tainui priesthood. In later years, Tapio's sayings were repeated as prophecies for the future. Um, Tapio was also a man of peace. He made peace with different EVs with a lack of violence, conflict behaviors, and the freedom from fear. Candace was a leader and very intelligent, taking control of the situa situations that need to be resolved, and figuring out many complex situations in the games, such as if the games rotate and how to beat each challenge she is given. Um, she was also responsible. She takes care of her family and friends. This is shown when she finds food for her village. She protects her family since her father died and when she takes Prim's place in the Hunger Games. I've gathered my information from Theatre.org.nz Wiki Answers and NZ Histories. Um, anyone can be a hero, it's just the decision they make which categorise them as a hero. True heroism is remarkable saber very undramatic. It is not the urge to suppress or others at whatever cost, but the urge to serve others at whatever cost. Shut up.